Alright, hello everyone. This is Rich, and this is my uh, Blu-ray and DVD update for August 31st, 2009. I believe it's been about two weeks to a week since last time I did this. So, uh, first off, before anything, uh, welcome to my new subscribers and my new friends. Hopefully you don't want to subscribe after I do this. So, let's get into it. First of all, I have two Blu-rays, and one of them might make people sad, because as much as I uh, talked about my hatred of Rob Zombie, I do have one of his movies on Blu-ray right now, and I like it, you know, it's definitely not Halloween too. it's good. It's uh, The Devil's Rejects, and I also have this on a regular DVD. Um, only thing that it's different about this one, at least maybe there's a special edition of this out, is that there's no documentary thing, there's no second disc documentary. So unless you have the regular DVD, you're not going to get the documentary. So I don't really like that. Uh, second is um, double feature uh, uh, Blu-ray that I got, which is uh, Toby Hooper's Mortuary and some movie named Salvage. Um, I haven't watched either one of them. I mean, I'm always for a good Toby Hooper movie, you know, doing Texas Chainsaw Massacre and whatnot. Um, I don't know. I don't know what to say, because I didn't watch either one of those, so I don't know yet. Uh, this one I actually got the other day, because someone mentioned the movie Frogs to me, and I'm like, I've never seen the movie Frogs, so I need to get that. Uh, so I saw this at a Salvation Army for like a dollar or fifty. So I figured, hey, why not? And it's in really good shape. I haven't yet to watch it. I'll probably watch it tonight. It was really interesting. Um, it's really interesting. You know, one of those, like, I guess giant killer frog things? I don't know. I do like the tagline. So, I'll uh, check that out. Alright, and then the uh, next one that I have here is a uh, riff tracks of... The, uh, I think now cult film it's slowly getting like a a weird like following kind of like kind of like Rocky Horror but not as much um, it's called The Room uh, oh jeez I forget the name guy that does all this but it's fucking it's bad it's a bad film but if you watch the Riff Tracks version it is fucking hilarious because this main guy here is like the star it's Tommy Wiseau that's the name I was looking for he goes around like he has like a, a shitty girlfriend that he wants to be his wife and a bunch of crappy friends that just come to his house all the time and just call shenanigans and there's this whole thing with him going oh hi guys oh hi Steve oh hi blah 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 and they like exploit the fuck out of that on rip tracks he's like oh hi uh, oh, hi stairs oh hi newspaper oh how are you oh it's fucking hilarious I, I got that off of I don't forget where I fucking got it from I think it's Pirate Bay I got that from that's one of the last things I'm going to be getting from Pirate Bay but it's funny and I donate to Rift Tracks all the time, so if anyone has a problem with me getting it off of Pirate Bay, I donate. So, that's all I gotta say about that. Uh, next is a weird movie I got from my good friend on YouTube, Super Colton. It's a, like, PG insane clown movie. Has the guy that plays, I think, Squiggy from Laverne and Shirley... He plays like this kind of crazy ass fucking clown that uh, goes kind of ape shit after like he gets fired from a uh, his amusement park and he wants to like kill the clown that like replaced him and he's like seeing all the like the the dead owner and he's seeing like all the like a a, a wax figure of um, the guy from Casablanca I forget his fucking name. 
I don't know why I want to see Adrian Barbeau, but it's way off. Because, you know, Adrian Barbeau is in Casablanca. The main fucking guy. Fuck. Anyway, I forget his name. He, uh, he appears to him, too. And just starts going fucking just insane. And he goes around and wants to kill people. But, yeah, it's supposed to be a comedy. And it kind of is. It just has, like, these dark themes in it. I check it out. It's pretty interesting. Uh, this is one I got from Monster Mania. Uh, I didn't get Lloyd to sign this because Lloyd Kaufman was there. Um, you can't see it, but I hung up my Tromaville stuff, which if you wanted to see my autographs and stuff like that, check out my Monster Mania video for that information. But I got Redneck Zombies while I was there. It was half price, so that was pretty fucking cool. I got this for $12, where it's usually like... I think it was like 25 or something of that sort. It was less than like if you got it off the website. Um, I seen this movie way, way, way back when. But I know I liked it enough to buy it. So, And you know, I have like a bajillion zombie movies. And I can't believe I don't have this one. Uh, so yeah. Check that movie out. It's one of the classic troll movies. Been with them for years upon years. That's our 20th anniversary edition. So... It's been with them for a while. A lot of people like that movie, including me. Uh, next is a couple of uh, low-budget picture films, which are awesome. Um, low-budget pictures, LBP is like a uh, like a company that just you know releases kind of like offbeat comedy horror action movies. Uh, well, this one is like a uh, Kind of like a rip on all like the Conan movies, Barbarian, Deathstalker, uh, Your Hunter of the Future, that kind of stuff. Um, it's called Deathbone, uh, The Third Blood Part 7, The Blood of Deathbone. Uh, I liked it. You know, if you like LBP movies or like, I don't know, like kind of odd films, you know, something that's like an hour long. I think it was, I was, was a, I think it was an hour 30 minutes. You know, just, you know, it, the acting isn't the best, but the comedy's there and the writing's there. It's just not like 150%. It's not Hollywood. It's just interesting, which I like. I like LBP a lot. I actually just donated to them so they can um, do their uh, newest film, Night Species or something, Night Something, and they have a new movie coming out called The Nazis vs. Teen Ape or Teen Ape vs. The Nazis coming out. Uh, this one I only kind of like. This is another LBP movie. Um, I know what it's supposed to be. It's supposed to be like a rip on I Spit on Your Grave. I don't know. It just fell short and I thought like some of it could have been cut out. Um, I Spit Chew on Your Grave. As I said, another LBP film. Um, I don't. I just. I just couldn't get into it. I don't know. Maybe just I need more dialogue or a scene taken out or music added to a certain scene to make it better. It just seemed to really fucking drag in parts. Um, yeah, I don't know if this is actually out yet to buy. Like a lot of these films from LBP that they put out are not fully out yet. Like there's gonna be one, I think. Here, I'll do my other LBP movie before this runs out. Like, this movie here that they have won't be out till I think, October or November. It's a parody of Twilight, and if you're not a fan of Twilight movies, and you're kind of pissed at it, this is your perfect movie. The first parody of Twilight. Called, well, it's going to be called Taint Light. They had to change the title, but my version is called Twilight. And it's a big old rip on Twilight, um, you know, stating the obvious certain facts and stuff like that. I don't know. I really liked it. If you're a fan of LBP, when this comes out, mind you, I really do suggest picking this up. It's fucking awesome. All right. I've got like a minute to go here. And i got a good couple left. So I'm just going to cut it short here. I will be back in a second with a part two for my Blu-ray DVD update for August 31st. All right.